this patient has many, many small AV malformations and, of course, some teeth injectations as well. This is one on the uh, floor of the nose that I'm pointing to here. And it looks raised. You can see that it's not just the tip of, the, the, of its raised. It's, just, it's a small sort of mountain. You're just seeing the tip of the mountain where it looks like you can see the vessels. But you're going to see in a moment that it is substantially uh, larger. And I, and I keep trying to coblate the edges, and one edge keeps bleeding. So I've learned over time to, uh, to watch for that. And then also just look at it, poke it a little bit, and make sure it's not going to bleed. There it is a little bit more on uh, to just the bottom right of the of the lesion and it starts to bleed and you'll see in a minute like oh well um, now it really is either another lesion or the same lesion that I finally uh, that I'm getting and you can see it takes it's substantially bigger than the, what you saw the the tip of the tip of the mountain that you saw so this is the coblation setting on six or seven uh, typically works well and again you'll see me rough it up and make sure there's nothing else bleeding then I'll move on to other lesions. I'll usually start with the worst looking lesions first. This is not particularly bad. It's easily coblated. You can see the saline going through the coblation because the saline carries the energy, it carries the ion. So it's uh, it's always rinsing with saline toward the tip. There's actually, the tip of the thing doesn't actually touch the, uh, 